Presented for your enjoyment by Campbell Soup. As a bullet seeks its target, shining rails in every part of our great country are aimed at Grand Central Station, part of the nation's greatest city. Drawn by the magnetic force of the fantastic metropolis, day and night great trains rush toward the Hudson River. Sweep down its eastern bank for 140 miles. Flash briefly with the long red row of tenement houses south of 125th Street. Dive with a roar into the two and one half mile tunnel which burrows beneath the glitter and swank of Park Avenue. And then, Grand Central Station. Crossroads of a million private lives. Gigantic stage in which are played a thousand dramas daily. Just a few minutes from Grand Central Station, one of these dramas is being played out at this moment. Ladies and gentlemen, in presenting tonight's play, Something for an Empty Briefcase, we earnestly hope this drama suggests an additional purchase. Buy the book that Joe buys. The book that can change your life. <laughs> What's the matter? You feel the heat? No, I ain't thinking about the heat. It's good. I'm just thinking. I got a buck seventy-five to my name. Now here I am going on twenty-two years old. Just back from up the river doing four months for a larceny called Petty. So what do I do now? Well, play it smart next time. Don't get caught. No, that's not it. So I want to do something. I want to be somebody so I can hold my head up. I don't want to have to be ducking it every time a cop comes by. <laughs> Mickey. You see that guy with a briefcase? Yeah. What about him? That's what I want to do. I want to carry a briefcase. <laughs> You're nuts. What are you going to carry in it? I don't know. I'll figure that out later, but I'm going to buy me a briefcase. You only got a buck seventy-five on you. I'll get some money to start with. Okay. Sloan said he's got a job bigger than for us for next month. No, night. no, no. I'm not doing any more jobs for Sloan. Don't let him hear you talking like that. Don't get in any fights with Sloan. He's tough. Oh, Sloan, Sloan. Forget him, will you? Tonight I do one little job for myself. It's going to be the last one I ever do. Excuse me, lady. You got the time? Well, it's two o'clock, didn't you hear? No. You scared me coming out like that. That's nice, because this is a stick-up. What? That's right, a nice private little stick-up. Now, give me your bag. I haven't got any money in it. Come on, give me that bag. No. No. Help! No. You're trying very hard to be a gentleman, and you're trying very hard not to let me be one. Now, are you going to be quiet? No. My rent money. It's only twenty-nine dollars. I, I just paid for my dancing lessons. If that, that's my rent money, if, if I don't give it to Mrs. Cooper, she'll make me move. Oh, you're breaking my heart. I need the money too. What do you need it for? My mother's sick. She's in the hospital. She needs an operation. Oh. 
Aren't you working? No, I don't have a job. Is this the first time you've ever done anything like this? What are you two doing over there? Nothing, officer. We were only talking. Where do you live? Around the corner. 1412 Buchanan. All right, go there then. Don't hang around here asking for trouble. Yes, sir. Thank you. Why didn't you tell the cop? I don't know. It's just that you're so young. Your mother's in the hospital. Oh, you... Where are you from? You don't sound like you're from New York. Ohio. You come up here just to dance? Yes. You get paid for that. Is that all you're interested in, money? Well, yeah, aren't you? Well, yes, but not mainly. I mean, I need money for food and rent and pay for my dancing lessons. All right, now, what's your twist? What do you mean, twist? Well, uh, how come? What for? Where to? You see, my ambition is to be a ballerina. Dancing's my life. Dancing's your life? Well, it's... well, don't you like to go to parties and have nice clothes and things? Sure, I do. But it's not important. I mean, not if you love what you're doing. Now, how can you love what you're doing if it doesn't pay off? It will, in time. Are you sure? Well, no, I, I'm not sure. Anyway, I, I know it's not going to happen overnight just like that. But I can... Well, I can work hard. I can hope. Pray. Pray? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's wild. <laughs> oh, 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 that's like me wanting to buy a briefcase. <laughs> oh, now, what's praying got to do with it? Huh? Well, there's, there's no point in talking to you about anything. You're just a Philistine. What, what, what? A Philistine. Oh, no. Spell it. P-H-I-L-I-S-T-I-N-E. Can I go, please? Yeah. Go on. Go dance yourself silly, for all I care. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hope your mother feels better. Thanks. Nice shoot. I hate to admit it, but nice shoot. Come on, come on, shoot, will you? I'm getting tired of waiting. Every shot's a big deal. I'll lay you three to two. Side pocket. Bet. Huh? Well, you sure are hot today. <laughs> well, that's enough for me today, Lou. What's the matter, Joe? You quitting? Don't you want to try to break me? I still got thirty-four dollars left. Well, I'm eighteen bucks ahead. Now that's the trouble with you guys. You want everything all at once. But you got to work for it. Pray. Pray. What's the matter with you anyway, Lou? Tell me. What's a Philistine? A uh who? -huh. A Philistine. It's me. Could be the name of that horse that's running a third race at Belmont. No, no. No, that's not it. Well, I'll be seeing it. Back him up on two. Where are you heading? Well, I'm going to buy myself a briefcase. A brief? What do you need with a briefcase? I like it. Ha! 
What's the matter? Something wrong with the guy wanting to buy a briefcase? Nope. Except what are you going to put in it? I don't know. Nothing special. And why spend the money on it? Because I like briefcases, that's why. You gave your uh, address to the cop, remember? That's right. Can I come in? Yes, I guess so. Thanks. Oh, it's very nice. You mind if I uh, put this on the table? Oh, no, no, go right ahead. It's a nice briefcase. Yeah. Oh, what's in it? Well, just papers. <laughs> what kind of papers? Papers. You dance to this music? Mm-hmm. Happy music, isn't it? Can I ask you a question? Oh, sure. How do you know that you want to give your life to dancing? I mean, how do you know? How can you tell? By what? Ever since I was a little girl, I've been dancing. Oh. Oh, I see. Don't you have anything special you want to do? No. But what's your job? Uh, I'm a thief. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> Don't laugh! I'm serious! I'm a thief! That's all I am! That's all I've ever been! From the pool room to the pen, that's me! Work, I thought it was something a guy was forced to do against his will. Oh, I want you to know the truth about me. I said there was something in this briefcase. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there at all. It's... Here, look. It's empty, look! I don't understand. Why do you carry a briefcase when there's nothing in it? I want to put something inside of it. Something I made or something that's mine. You know? I could carry it around and no one would have to know what was in it. Just, just me. And that would huh, make me feel so good. I guess you're wondering why I'm here, huh? Yes. Why did you come? I don't know. I... Well, I thought maybe if I talked to you about you wanting to be a... I don't know. My name's Joe. Mine's Noli. Noli? Well, I never heard of that before. How do you spell it? N-O-L-I. Do you like it? No. Yeah, it's pretty. Thank you. Uh, Noli, I uh, suppose you've got a lot of boyfriends. Oh, yes, sure. A lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. Well, I, I gotta be going. Oh, late. Joe, your briefcase, you left it here. You can keep it. I have nothing to put in it. Who cares? I do. I can't, Joe. You do? You're not kidding? Oh, Nola, if you cared, it would mean so much to Joe. me. Joe. Joe, it's up to me to tell the truth. I haven't got so many boyfriends. No? I haven't got any boyfriends. It's great. 
Because, Noli, I think you're beautiful. Noli, what I want to say is that if... I think you're beautiful, Noli. I, I, I just couldn't help it. I'm sorry. Joe, I, I'm glad. I'm glad you kissed me. Nully. Yes? What does Philistine mean? <laughs> Look it up. Oh, wait a minute. Here. I'll lend you my dictionary until you can buy one for yourself. Thanks. Well, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Oh, oh, what's the name of that music you were playing there? Oh, that was the overture to the marriage of Figaro. Oh, the guy must have had a wild, fancy wedding. <laughs> oh, good night. <laughs> Nolene? I'll see you tomorrow. Now, a brief intermission. And now we continue tonight, starring Susan Douglas and James Dean. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, young man. I gather from your last speech that you do not wish to continue as my partner in crime. That's right, Sloan. I don't want any more of your larceny, petty or grand. Mickey? You hear what our Joseph said? Yeah, boss, I heard. The way I figure it, Joey wants to go straight. So when I want your opinion, Nicky, I'll ask you for it. Okay. Well, then, Joseph, stand up. Oh, stand up, Joseph, stand up. Good. Now, what's the reason for this tremendous change of heart? None of your business. <laughs> Joey, for Pete's sake, don't say anything more. Don't worry, boss, you'll be all right. Oh, but I do worry. Joseph, young, foolish. Shall I continue to worry? Joseph! I don't want any trouble, Sloan. You have trouble already. It's like Mickey says, I want to go straight. I want to do something worthwhile. Worthwhile? Ha! What could you possibly do? What do you know how to do? I'll learn something to do. Something better than holding a hotel clerk to filling stations. You finished? Yeah. Then how are you going to live while you're learning? How are you going to eat, pay for this room? That's right, Joey. Why don't you do this one little job with us tonight? Then you can, well, you can do whatever you want to do. What the? Lay low for a while because we'll be hot. Well, maybe you could learn to do something worthwhile while you're keep out of sight. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, I didn't know you had it in you. Wise, very wise. <laughs> well, how about it, Joseph? Do you want to learn something worthwhile while you're hot? Why don't you get yourself another boy? Because you know too much about me. I'm no stoolie, Sloan. I just went out. I don't want to do this job tonight or ever. Oh, this sudden reformation. Must be a woman in it somewhere. Ah, I thought so. What's her name? Where does she live? Perhaps uh, Mickey and I can inform her that you're no angel. Yeah, that'd be easy. You tell her you were? No. I told her the truth. You wouldn't understand anything about that, would you, Sloan? <laughs> <laughs> now, then, Joseph, in spite of the fact that I'm not worthwhile, you in with us tonight? Come on, Joey. Say yes. Say yes. All right, I'm in. Well, after the night, Sloan. You and me, we're finished, all right? We're finished, when I say so. Sit down. Good boy. Now, here's the way it works. Joseph! We hit this string of stores on Otis Street. First the liquor store, then the drug store around the corner. After which we cut through this alley to Henny's Diner. Clear? Sounds good to me. Sounds good to you, Joey? Especially that part about ending up at the diner. <laughs> yeah. Mickey and I will drive by for you at 10 15. Take it easy, boy. <laughs> Remember, 10 15 sharp. My temper is a little short for people who are late for appointments.
turn the lights on. Hey, it's 15. Sloan came early. He's waiting downstairs. Are you asleep? Hey! <laughs> oh, no, Mickey. I'm awake now. I've been asleep. It's nice to wake up. Well, come on. Let's get going. We got less than an hour to pull this job. Hey, turn off that, that funeral music, will you? All right. Philistine. Huh? Bought a dictionary today, Mickey. Bought another book, too. Something to put in my briefcase. Hey, Sloan's gonna blow his top. He has to come up here for you. You can't tell what'll happen. Philistine is a noun, meaning someone lacking in or indifferent to culture, aesthetic refinement, etc., etc., and so forth. You're crazy. I told Sloan I'd bring you right straight down. He's in a hurry to get started. Oh, Mickey, turn off the lot. You come in or ain't you? No. No, Mickey, I'm not. I knew it. The minute I come in here and I hear that funeral music playing, I know something bad's gonna happen. Well, I didn't know till I read in my book. And now I know. So you tell Mr. Sloan I'm not going. Tell Sloan? You dumb cluck. That's like saying, throw me out the window. He's got a gun of you. Yeah. Nolly Joe. Hi, you teacher. Did I tell you I had a wonderful time again last night? All we did was talk. We didn't go anyplace. Where are you, home? No. No, I'm across the street at the drugstore. Remember, you were going to meet me. Can a guy say I love you in that drugstore? Oh, sure thing, Joe. You coming over? Uh, no, no, honey. I can't right now. Oh, why not? Uh, well, I, I have to meet a fellow. Who? Well, you don't know him. Joe, something's wrong. No, no, honey. I was just, just thinking. <laughs> don't think so hard. I'm new at it, Noli. Oh, I bought that dictionary like you told me and uh, that other book, too. <laughs> Gee, that's wonderful. Honey, can I call you back later at your place? Talking Joe. to me, buddy, I know. Joe, what's the matter? Goodbye, what's honey. wrong? Hello, Sloan. Greetings, lover boy. We ready? I'm not going. I said, are we ready, lover? It's no use, Sloan. Maybe the reason I'm not a successful thief is be because I'm... Well, I don't like it. Besides, there's more. I met a girl. I've been reading in my book, and I feel different. I feel different about everything. Mm -hmm. Too bad I can't clap my hands Shut for down, you. Sloan. Why? I wrote a letter. Ideas and original. If I'm killed, they look, they look you up. Girl I know has a letter. If anything happens to me, she mails it right to headquarters. Well, you simple-minded double-crosser. Oh, Sloan, don't get oh, I'm not going to hurt you. Just mush your hair a bit. Sort of a token of a lost friendship. Ah! <laughs> Boss, it's just getting late. Ow! Oh, we're going to do that job tonight. I'll have to get somebody else to take Joe's place. Well, right. uh, Joseph, I'm leaving. See you soon, I hope. Let's go, Mickey. So long, lover boy. the place you told me. Joe! I can say it by heart, Nolly. There hath no temptation taken you such as is common to man. But, uh, the... Oh, Nolly. God is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. But will with a Will, with the temptation, make a way of escape that you'll be, you'll be able to bear it. Chill. 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 It's all right, Chill. baby. Oh, it's all right. Oh, all because I won the briefcase. Now I got a book, and I've got you. Maybe the closest I ever get to heaven.
next week, No Scar, a strange and fascinating drama which takes place in the shadowy corners of the human mind. Our stars, Warren Stevens, featured on Broadway in Detective Story, and Betsy von Furstenberg of Josephine. You're asked to join us again next week for No Scar. Be with us again next week for Campbell Soundstage. And see Double or Nothing starring Burt Parks on another network Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This is Ralph Paul speaking.